Hello, and welcome back to the Scarlet Cascabel. We've just explored the crypts. There was certainly one I couldn't get into. Um, here, which I need to come back to. I got that key already. Didn't get that key, it's a chest. I'm distracting myself. I got the wise yellow key. Silver gold, yeah, let's, let's, let's check out still. Um. Right. What was I saying? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I've, we've explored the chapel now. Right. Where's the way out? This must be. Um. Yeah. Well, this is back to more. More hotel crawling as we uh, <laughs> continue to explore. Oh, this is too narrow even to stand on properly, even if you kind of. Who's there? D did you say something? Move back and forth. Well, it's clearly the uh, it was. biggest uh, mission of the contest. This is the Thief Girl 20th anniversary. Contest, or sorry, Thief Dark Project 20th Anniversary Contest. Uh, possibly not the biggest spatially, but uh, the biggest in terms of how much space there is, distinct spaces to explore. Unfortunately, I wouldn't necessarily say interesting spaces to explore. I kind of. Yeah, there's lots of hotel rooms with very slight variation. Nothing particularly wrong with any of them, but they just all feel very much the same. Yeah. I'm not even gonna Someone call there? that. I see him! Help! Over here! Help! Sorry. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize there's uh, other people here. What do I read? I see the sign, I read it, it's the same sign every day, okay. Yeah, multiple people here in this bed. Hands, carrots, snide mark, and handcuffs. No, just there, up to them. Right, we don't have a cup of tea, but the carrot is a bit of a... Well, definitely has a bit of a... broomstick up his ass in the, in the uh, metaphorical, <laughs> not literal. <laughs> Deck of naughty playing cards. Uh, I do like how they've used that painting as the cover. There. It's, it's creative for use of assets in this. Um, not necessarily significant. But uh, definitely creative and entertaining. That's room five, room six, oh no, that's room six, room five. Yep. Also, I just got some food. I should eat that. Mm -hmm. Get some of these hit points back. Where was that cucumber? Or did I eat it already? Guess perhaps I ate it already. Hello? Hammerite Compendium of Precepts, Regimens, and Rules of Conduct, Volume 36. Time once passed, the harlot did say to the priest, tarry a while and wait upon thy duties. And the priest Show did thyself. tarry. This guy is a hammerite priest, so he has... Hmm. I know not what it was. Ah, the other guy was his novice then. Maybe. So many now I don't know. Out. If thou be there, bespeak thyself. God, can you be quiet? My oh. Your imagination doth... I don't know. Your imagination needs shutting up. Alright. I don't even know what I was saying. What was I saying? I don't know. Let's keep looking for loot. Devotion number 247924. Smite that fool of a novice. Where could he be? 
I stepped out to find that the boy was missing from his usual place of study, and to think our pilgrimage to St. Yours is so he should be ordained by the order. This waypoint was a generous gift from the bishop to take a respite for praying and reading a few compendiums, but now I think he is up to no good, bathing in that decadent pool, or worse, reading books from their library. To make matters worse, the adjacent room is housing the worst sort of heathens. I can hear them making vile animal noises and banging on the walls. My discernment in these matters tells me they are worshipping the trickster, no doubt. No, I'm afraid it is... Well, worshipping the trickster or not, I can't say, but is your novice in the next room? You looked like he was having a very good time. You know? Right, you're kind of messy there. Let's let's be well organized. Put you on a bed, and I've forgotten to check the top of this bed, and I've forgotten to check the top of the other bed. So I need to do that. Come back into room six. Nothing. I didn't expect anything, but yeah, worth checking. Excuse me again, folks. Just, just maintenance expect, uh, inspection. Making sure you haven't left any dangerous loot on top of your bed that might like roll off and hit you on the head in the night. All right, map time. Six and five. Okay, we're going to both of those. Did I come to all of these? Yeah, room seven was the one we got into from the sick passage. So that's it, we've been around this entire floor, we haven't got, well there's a door here we haven't got into, there's a trap door there we haven't got into. There's a proprietor's office we didn't get into, but he was, that was on the next floor up. And the key is probably in his suite somewhere, so. Although... Oh, there's two sets of stairs, alright, we'll try going to this, oh no, that's to the ground floor. We'll just try following the hallways and see where it takes me. I'm very tempted to ring the gong. Staff only, no admittance. There is a dumbwaiter, oh, which goes over three floors. Alright, that's another way to get around. Doesn't go to the top floor. That's very interesting. Did none of the guests in the top floor have any food? <laughs> Someone's even stuck a poster in here. <clears throat> it's the kitchen on the ground floor. And. It's the Sorry, I didn't actually notice the floor open up. But we have been to all those places, so. That's right, I can probably show that. Back up we go. It's a fun little joyride. Yeah, it's very unclear when things like that, you know, that's, these ones using the same textures are not a door, and this one is a door, it's just like, having to scan everything, see whether it lights up is so baffled. To all staff, do not use the dumbwaiter for anything other than transporting food for room service, etc. It is not for moving chamber pots into the lower levels. Breaking this rule will result in a very harsh talking to. I can hear her walking around the dining room from here. Oh, the kitchen. Oh, right, because this is the kitchen. Did I read this? To kitchen staff. Yes, 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 that's right. I'm only getting deer legs. Alright, so I've been here. Well, now I have explored that. And this is the main staircase once more. So, where is the staircase to the third floor? Southeast.
Very strange that there's a separate staircase to the third floor when there are still guest rooms up there. I have to traipse halfway across the second floor. Also guards and a whole bunch of other people wondering about. Observatory, lounge, rooms 14, 15. Observatory. One of the things was sounds like it's talking about a telescope, so uh, I guess this would be the where. Me, 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 and more me. How to focus entirely on numero uno. Well, it's not written by Garrett by any chance. He's very good at that. Complimentary chamber pot service. Yes, I know. Why do I read it again? So now I would have been really impressed if they'd somehow made the uh, people sleeping under the sheets and not on top of them. Maybe it's just a very, very warm night. I really have these to spare, don't I? I can barely using any of my equipment. It's not really a problem. Oh, they're getting the best silverware, or goldware. Tableware. That's the word I was looking for. I like how they made silver pots as well. Hello. This seems bigger than most, but uh Hello, where's he coming from? Is he leaving their room entirely? I'm gonna use that what arrow I just found. Check if there's anything in here, since I can't get into this one, it's deeper than most. <coughs> oh. Well, I can see another room to the northwest of here. This is room 15, right? Interesting. There is a place under the stairs. Okay, I like that. It's not a secret in the fireplace, it's the fireplace reveals a secret elsewhere. So how do you get under the stairs? I don't know. I'll just finish exploring the suite first and then... No, I'm not going to read it this time. Dear Ms. Woodham, First City Bank and Trust, enclosed are some additional gems I need held in my safety deposit box. The riches in these ancient woods continue to abound. As per our correspondence, I expect that a seat on the City Council may come open soon, as your bank continues to receive such generous financial support. Finest regards, Bramwell Livingston III. You're very trusting to have... So this is the depth of most of the normal ones. Very trusting to have to give the bank staff access to your safety deposit box, you know. Very trusting of them to agree to it. So that they uh, cannot disclaim knowledge of what's in there. Oh, hello. Alright, so this is one of the rooms I can get into. It's 15. Let's just close it again. Which means this will connect. So let's just put a V for vent. All right, back down we go. You don't have anything on your belt there, do you, man? No, you're both admiring to be out the window. Very well. Okay, so how do I get... Where is this... Secret room, hello. Oh, oh. I didn't come in here, I thought that was the exit. Oh, how did I come in here? Oh yeah, I did. Nothing. Check my bearings though. Fireplace here. 
stairwell here. Room under the stairwell, maybe. Maybe it's not even accessed from. God, it's too dark to see. Maybe it's not even accessed from this room. Make a note. I don't suppose it'll matter too much if I don't find it. I'm not worried about exhaustive loot collection or exhaustive secret finding, but I'm I'm curious about how it's revealed itself and how I haven't managed to find it. Room 14. No, there is no room 13 because it's the most haunted one. Surprise, surprise. Just a thing. Gas hour, okay. I suppose it's not bad that uh, we got the t tip from Wen that these are actually gas lamps that were extinguishable with water arrows because they're a non-obvious design and it certainly isn't immediately clear. I mean, not non-standard design. It's not immediately obvious that it would be possible to put them out. Alright, this is the one we saw with the book on top of the bed. King's Road, South Route, last fall, first week of mid-timber. Aaron's port watch high demand struck a, struck a deal for 30 bags at 25 a piece. Uh, blah 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 blah. They're selling stuff here. These must be spice merchants. I'm not going to read their accounts. I'm just going to try and find their stash and make it mine. If that's a possibility. Oh man, I like these people. Look, they put they spread out one of the uh, bath towels on the floor. To make the bathroom nice and quiet. I might not knock you all out, you know, just, just thanks for uh, being so thoughtful. Right, so the guy's gonna come in here. Oh, he was already in there, okay. Where's Swordman? That doesn't. We're a crate's full of spice here. I'm getting stuck or something. Noise maker. Stuck here once again. This damn crate is slightly too close to the fireplace. Hello? Is someone there? Oh well. I don't know what it was. So one of them had a purse, one of them had a healing potion, neither of them had a key. So where are they keeping the key? Ooh, 
careful because he goes in that room. No, I guess I got plenty of platforms if uh, he did accidentally see me. No, I definitely can't pick that. Okay, where's this bedroom? <laughs> comes in here too, so I need to be very careful. <laughs> Dear Mum, boss is up King's Road and some of us guards are along. Our quarters are crammed, we're better than stables. You'd love the country here, it passed my head today that this is the furthest I've ever been from home. I like seeing new places and such, but ain't much to see from behind a helm. Here's some coin to buy yourself a shiny or what you need. Hope to see the lot of you come day soon, and even come home to ready old Grimside after these five years gone. Hoping all is well, and I'll ride again when I can. Jasper. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I think I have a key on you. Alright, let's wait for this. I think I can hear him coming back. Yep, indeed. Good thing I went here instead of standing by the, uh, the chest there. Keep an eye on all those chests, all those crates. You wouldn't want to find one of them. Seriously missing his contents. No, he doesn't have a key. So, how does that one open then? This is the main door, right? This the door of the suite, yeah. There's a key, there's a key. Where's the key? I'm missing the key. Huh. Where does that one need a key and none of the rest? Even a stranger. What keys do I even have? Staff key, that's the only key I've got left. I mean, you might have hidden it somewhere here, but. Somewhere in there, I'll check in the bathroom again once he's come and gone. Although I can hide in here, I suppose. Dang it. Didn't mean to make that kind of noise. Ah, thought I'd close the door behind me. There's no keys in here. Fall over! Ow! How did you... <laughs> ah, shoot! How did you see me there? Uh, he just came straight at me. It's a bottle of speed. It's not a speed potion, right? Did I just get a healing potion from you? I did. Alright, well. That's lucky for you, or I might have had to do something worse to you then. Alright, well, I'm still alive. Still looking for a key. But I don't really know where it would be or why it's all very dark and maybe she should make a note that there's a locked chest and no oh. <laughs> I'm a fool look it's locked it's gonna need a key no it's just not fucking locked at all I am a fool all right well that was ridiculous I'm gonna be embarrassed to show my face in that room again, so I better get out of there. Hello, there's the guard. Right, where now? Um, that was what, 14. So, the entrance, yeah, here. Oh, that's a big set of rooms. Did it go in all of them? Oh yeah, that's the way the guards were sleeping. That was, this was the room that 
the um, Gab's walking to his bathroom, and the other guy's walking in and out of here. Yeah, okay. Alright, so we keep going north from here, right where this fellow is patrolling. Patrolling from. Another gong? To the observatory, sure, why not? Let's go do some observation. Light is spreading, seeping throughout the house, affecting others as well now. The light is spreading? What? Oh, this. Hear that? That's not the bad, but this is where room 13, suite 13 used to be. It's walled off now, right? We've got the map that shows us here. So we just came up here, but it's a dead end. There's a whole, there's a banner right there. Well, that's definitely a significant room. Let's check the observatory first. Welcome to the observatory. Please sit back and take in the wonder of the stars. This huge contraption before you is actually a telescope. Telescopes can see into the heavens using spectrum mirrors and lenses. A few examples of these are on display for your viewing pleasure. Let's check a little book of chess pieces. No, wrong book. But I see the heavens from on high, look upon the lens if me you'd spy. Alright, I shall look upon the lens because I do wish to spy you. Golden lens, please do not touch or steal. I guess I was gonna say how do you make a golden lens? But if it's a reflective telescope, that's easy enough. Metal, right. What about in here? Depicted here are the ten worlds and two suns that revolve around our fair planet. What wonderful discoveries lie ahead once we are able to travel to the stars. Overhead you can see the new moon, a symbol of fertility. It is said that its rings are the spirits of our loved ones who have gone before. Dang noisy floors. Oh yes, spinning rings. Actually, see the moon up, up through there. Our eyes of flesh can see this world, but with the eyes of the spirit, we see many. Icarus Volante. <laughs> right, where's where's the lens of this telescope? On its lens, as if we want to spy the chess man. Where's the wood up there? I can't. I can't actually tell. Doesn't look like wood to me. Let's do a quick test. Put a rope in. Get our broadhead back if we need it. Ah, well, I see the chest man there, but how do I get to him? It's a bit too far away here. Like, I can make a jump, but I don't think it'll. Yeah, I won't reach it. Can't mantle up there. gonna kill me isn't it ah! <laughs> yep it's gonna kill me so then how do I proceed here can I go on top of this wheel okay can 
can go on that wheel. <sighs> well, so far so good, but uh, still not actually standing properly. Oh, because this is brushwork. Wow. That's, that's terrible. And how do we get any higher? We've got the phases of the moon around here, but I don't think I mean anything, right? Maybe there's a way onto the roof? I don't know. Alright, well we didn't take damage. Uh, How do we get that one? I don't know. Oh, I was going to say that's control panel now. It's just a slightly lighter patch. All right, well, you know what? I think it's time. To enter suite 13. Ah, oh, well, of course it's locked with the key. It's not going to be the staff key, is it? No. Nope. All right, well, it's not time to enter suite 13. We do need to go and deal with this stone tablet piece. It lives in... It needs to go in the courtyard. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why are all of you wandering these halls? To library and lounge. Staff only. Oh, hello. This is uh, up to an attic. Yeah, I've been here. Okay, I came in here from the ducts and didn't come down the staircase. Right. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. So if we come back, go back this way, it takes us to where the queen was, right? I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, not the queen. The, book, the queen, this thing. So. Does this exercise you? It does. Ah, what happened? Who the hell are you? Go. Die! Time to put Mr. Jim Jim down. What? Is that Mr. Jim Jim? I don't quite get what's going on here. But I guess we put him in the furnace. Seems a bit harsh for all the entertainment he's given us. Oh, that's the wrong way. Well, well if, if we have to put him in the furnace, then we put him in the furnace. Let's hope we can find another healing potion. Because I am feeling fragile. Right back down here. I've already eaten all the food in this place as well. Okay, we're being a man. I don't have anything I can do in there yet. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a wait, 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 wait a second. Three, four, or five, right? 
Oh, okay. I was gonna say, is this, are these actually kind of semi functional? Like, are just gonna take our money? There's a lounge. How far does this go come? Oh, you won't see us in here. And all these people, you know, they're probably blind drunk. I thought I saw something. Someone! <clears throat> This is so enormous, I'm kind of tired of uh, creeping around everyone. So, we'll make it quicker. Okay, I'm just going to turn that racket off. Okay. So, there's another chest pawn in here, right? It will be spirit room. Where can spirits be consumed whilst upon your derriere? This room, I presume. You can sit in here, consume spirits while sitting down. But then, well, rafters maybe. Let us check the rafters at great risk to my help. Oh. Trying to turn the candle off. Oh wow, there's more rafters as well. Ouch. Ouch in terms of that's not what I wanted to do, but not ouch in terms of that actually hurt. What's that up there? window. Uh, Alright, let's just stick another rope in the roof there. Which I guess we're not going to get back. Hello. Another way into the crawl space, huh? Well, you know what? Let's take it. Let's try and see if we can get in there. Not like that. Let's just rip. And we can mantle in. And what's down here? Oh, what? Okay, this is where we've been before, but uh, that's the one I thought was a dead end. Came here, didn't open. Thought it was a dead end, didn't look up. Alright, that's good, that makes it pretty quick and easy to get back. Just go across here. I think. No. No, 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 back outside then. through here. Counter. Yes. Okay. Good. Uh, where's our book? Uh, yes, yes, yes. See Kevin's peel. Yes, that was on top of the bell. 
I know where that one is, but I haven't got it. I know I don't know where that one is. Maybe the roof. Don't know where that one is. But I imagine maybe that's in room 13. Huh. Got that one. I have not got this one. Hmm. All right. That's the library, right. All right, check the map. Uh, yeah, well, we can go out to the courtyard. Observatory connects to the courtyard, apparently. So I blocked you out all that, or guys walking around here? Does it actually connect to the courtyard or is it cannot be exited? It cannot be exited. Because we do want to go back to the courtyard. Alright, let's go back to I'm just wondering if the courtyard is gonna give us a way into his house. Oh wait, there's a he's got a stairway on the second floor. Hang on. That's like north and west of the library, right? Where's the library? Just out the other side of the gallery. That just seems way further west. This doesn't even seem to match up. However, come back, look at the third floor again. Yeah, we went up there, we went, we've been in all those places. Let's go back through the library. Maybe one of the vents runs in here, actually. Very possible one of the vents runs in here. Seen the one to room 15, which is, we've seen the one into room 14, which had the ledger, right? So if we can find another one up here. Yeah, let's do that while we're up here. Um, where was the attic? West of the lounge, but this is the observatory. Uh, go south and west, yeah. Oh, I see this. Oh, you do have a sword. Why are you coming here? Oh, that's right, you can, come, you can go there. Don't fall. Summon a security guard, okay. To library and lounge. And on the way we pass it at the staircase to the attic, right? No? Missed it. Went right past it. Blind. Blind as a bat. Here we are. Okay, so we have this vent system. There were three different ways going down, right? So we just came in the attic here. We kind of want to go north and east. This vent runs south, so... Wait, that's not the bedroom, is it? That's... Part of room 15? Well, I guess we can test out theory, we don't need to commit to anything. Yeah, we've uh, been here. We've, ro we've robbed this room already. Okay, good. For some reason I thought it was further to get here. So we keep going south and then we're going west. Further south. Yeah, the vent, the vent is actually, I guess, here. Probably. Further south and west. Now 
north and west. Come out on the roof here, which is looking out over. Well, that's that's the library right there. So it comes out. Uh, just below the library. Comes out on the roof here, all right. So in this one, it's directly north from the library. Turns west again. And south, what? It's like it takes us, this is over the library directly, okay. That's a dead end, that's, where are the other two vents I found, the other two? that run down. <laughs> Got them all turned about. That's for room 15. This is the attic again. Is there another vent in this attic? So there is. Um, oh no. Well, not that one. Well, that's a secret. Four, and here's that rope stash I told you about. I bet we can find some goodies in the rafters if we look. A rascal phantom likes to hide his shinies up in the nests. Two more rope arrows. Alright, thank you. Okay, that's not what I needed, though. Now let's leave it open. It's uh, easy to tell that I've been here. the queen statue. Which was supposed to be spooky apparently. It's just an enormous attic that's just like sprawling and... Hello. Is that another vent up there I can get into? Down here certainly is. Okay, that is room. So right now we're right above room 14. One of these two places. Alright, so if we can if we can get north from here to another vent, we'll take us into room 13. Aha! Uh -huh. This is what we need then. One with a spooky light. Of course, the one with a spooky light is room 13. What are we going to find in here? This is the most haunted room, right? This is that one they closed so bad they closed it. And uh, permanently. For us. I guess when you're a ghost you got a lot of patience. Oh, it's brightly lit in here. And a nice carpet. What is that there? I don't know. Nathaniel, meet me this weekend where we spent our first night together. Let's find each other in the dark. Your Adora. Okay, now... <laughs> the bath has turned to be full of blood. There's a razor, blood on the floor, blood on all the mirrors. What? What locked? I heard a door close and lock. Oh. Blood all over the bed. You're spooking me out. Oh, there's nothing here.
quiet. Oh. That wasn't there before, was it? Room 13 key, okay. Well. Okay, so. I mean, that's all well and good. But, uh, it actually tells me nothing about what went on in here. I guess one of them murdered the other. I suppose it then has. What I expected is it would have something to do with, uh. The, uh, what's the. What's their names? The Blackwells. But apparently not. Nothing at all. <laughs> Do with that. All right. Well, room thirteen done. Don't need another bench anymore. Okay. I still don't know how we get in here. Maybe from the gallery. Let's go downstairs and see if we can find out. We have to do something with Jim Jim. In the furnace, maybe, maybe just an ordinary fireplace. I don't know. Maybe we can actually, maybe we can actually return him. Yeah, we don't have to be mean. Everyone else was mean. Although he is kind of haunting the place, apparently, or cursed. Where's the main staircase? Not this way. Staff staircase. Why does it say stuff on there? <laughs> Alright, well here's, here's one place I needed to be. It's good enough. So, we have a missing piece of this plaque. I don't know what it's all about at all. It's nothing to do with the chest piece that was here because we found that. There once was a serpent who only travelled in one direction, always forward, never backward. The serpent was blind and hungry, which caused him to eat his own tail, and he hid away in darkness where he waited for his madness to end. A few who were seers knew the serpent's true path. The serpent must travel backward, they said, but it never did, and the darkness began to spread. The seers made a weapon to destroy it, but hid it in the serpent's den, for they discovered that the only one who could wield the weapon was the serpent itself. And so the serpent, always forward, never backward, hides away in darkness, where he waits for his madness to end. What have we here? Well, we've got a secret now. Location of the four aspects. What? Ah, oh, find out what... Find out what this stone tablet is for. The four aspects reside as follows. In the library, Bruno Mansell guards the mind. In the chapel, Alfonso Silvera guards the soul. In the pool room, Beatrix Lefebvre guards the body. In the observatory, Icarus Volante guards the spirit. Above the dining hall, Lord Blackwell stands silent, a sentry outside the seal. I found one of the places in the library, and I don't need that anymore. Got that, and one, I found one in the pool room as well. Okay, so we know where the others are. So we have a note that says where these are, so we don't need to mark them anymore. I wonder what this room is. Uh, wait, maybe that's just the secret room here? No, it's too high. It would have to be right above room 12. Alright. 
Well, what was it about the above the dining hall while Blackwell stands silent sentry outside the seal? So these ones have the little key locks, and then he must have the key. Above the dining hall. Where are we? Just came out of the courtyard, so east. Wait, she came out the north side of the courtyard. Well, still east. It's not going to suddenly become west. Maybe that's not the dining hall. No, this is all wrong. That's room three. I'm looking at the wrong floor, which came out here. So the door is directly opposite to us. I'm a fool. Above the dining hall, Lord Blackwell, blah blah blah. Well, where about the dining hall? Let's go up here and find out. What's the note say? Above the dining hall, Lord Blackwell stands silent sentry outside the seal. <clears throat> hey, first of all, I don't see any aquatic mammals here, let alone seals. Second of all... What are you talking about, Lord Blackwell? There's three swords. Hey, is someone in here? No. Shh, I'm busy. There's a whole bunch of swords, but... Uh, Aha, uh -huh, well there's this. It's a Lord Blackwell's seal, perhaps. Hmm. Oh wait, what was this? That's Lord Blackwell, okay. Any kind of switch or something on him. I don't have any money. I didn't expect you to have any money, but you do have legs that you're running away with, and you shouldn't have run away. Why did you come all the way up here to search for me? <laughs> Dang it. Well, I think everyone else is up. There's already a Unconscious or out of earshot, so shouldn't matter. Except for now, I'm lost. All right, here we are. Dining hall. No. Yes. Maybe. Right, right, right. This is all wood paneling right here, right? I can shoot a rope in here. Yeah, alright, so let's get this one back. Uh, what I wanted to do is uh, find out if uh, <coughs> that was solid or not, it seems solid. Well, it seems not to move. Come on, get over the rope, Garrett. Uh, what am I trying to do here? Above the dining hall, Lord Blackwell stands silent sentry outside the seal. I mean, maybe I need to come here after finding all the things, but uh, I. I need something to put in the things. Oh, hello. Oh, I thought I saw something. No, it was just. Oh! Hey, that's. That's new. There is a picture of the Serpentile Talk. Alright, so. 
those aspects, of course there's aspects of guarding the talk. But that's not something I can use. Hmm. Don't know what to do with that. Well, sorry, not the Serpentile talk, the Scarlet Cascarel. You know, the, the, the mirror image twin thing. Okay. Well, we need to go find these four aspects then. Library, I know where the one in the library is. So we're north of the dining room. The library is... <sighs> Let's go to the gallery, actually. I want to go to the gallery before. Uh, head east and go around somewhere. So now we're south of the dining room. Just keep following this hallway. I don't know why it doesn't join up. It ought to join up. It's ridiculous. It's like a, it's just a, a thin wall. It should join up. I mean, it joins up for the staff, of course. Uh, wait. I came too far north. Gallery, second floor, and library. <laughs> Here's the gallery, second floor? No. Yes. Here's the gallery, second floor. How come there's a sign saying steps? Oh wait, this is the... Right, so this is the proprietor's key needed. And the proprietor was just down in this room, and I don't think he had a key on him, but maybe I neglected to check. Can I quickly rope down there? Let's find out. <laughs> Wait, how do we get in there? It's a bucket to catch the water, dripping water. I don't think I noticed that before. He was in this room, and I knocked him out and shoved him in this corner, right? Hotel proprietor. Does he have a key? Of course he doesn't. How does he get in and out of his room? I don't know, but okay. Let's go to the lab. Let's go to the library, he says he almost falls to death. Um okay, the library's further south. chandeliers one hanging from the other. Uh, it was on the upper floor, there was a statue. If we rip up to the statue we can see a thing underneath it, right? It was up here. Yeah, alright. Buddha mantle. That. I need something to put in that. Obviously not the hand. It's not Mr. Jim Jim. It's not going to be the staff key. It's not going to be the book. So I don't know what it's about. I feel like I'm going to need to get into the proprietor's area to find out. And I don't know how to get into the proprietor's area without his key. And he doesn't have his key. So, it's a catch-22. I could get into his room if, you know, the key's probably in his room. Now, maybe... Oh, I don't know. Where am I? Where am I? I don't want to 
Ich kann nicht mehr genau aus. Drei. Keine Mast. Alright, now we're ever looking at the dining hall again. There's places in the crypts we haven't been. What's this room? I'm sure I've been in it and it's unremarkable, I just can't remember. Oh yeah, that's uh, the bell. That's actually the way down to the crypt. Um, what am I even doing? See if the proprietor has information about the castle. Well, yeah, I mean, in terms of my own notes, there's this whole symbol thing. This thing about the chess pieces. I feel like I don't know whether the chess pieces are important, whether they're, they're definitely connected to the Blackwells. I think. Um, maybe they're only important. Maybe they alter the ending. I don't know. That's the proprietor's key we need there, and probably there as well. To get that diadem. And maybe that diadem is what we need to unlock things, I don't know. Um, how do we get this thing from the observatory? I don't know. Secret room there, I'm not sure if it's relevant. We can go back to the women's quarters in the basement <laughs> and see if we can use Jim Jim. And look for the silver buried in the cellar. But really, we should be focusing on trying to get into the proprietor's suite, which is, well, courtyard, courtyard, yes. I said maybe he's there's a balcony overlooking the courtyard. So, where's the quickest way down? Just west. And you know, it'll take us, we can get to the main staircase. We could, we could find a place that overlooks the courtyard ourselves and jump down. No. Wait, the proprietor has room overlooks the courtyard, right? Not on this floor. On the third floor, he has windows that overlook the courtyard and we can't get in. Okay, scratch that. We get on top of this terrace. Uh, trellis, not terrace. Doesn't look like it. I don't really see any wood around. Is that a wooden beam up there? <laughs> I mean, it's the wrong side for the sake of them, but we could jump over there, we could maybe shimmy along there in a very unnatural fashion. Can't break the glass. Why did I quick step up here? That was a foolish move. That's why it's a foolish move. I feel like I'm trying to break the game now instead of going where I need to go. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, this. Okay, I could have just gone along the window ledge. And um, if this feels too small to sh safely <laughs> shimmy along. Alright. How do I get down without killing myself? Well, I could probably drop onto that, right? Yeah. Save here. All right, well, I uh, think this is a pretty good place to end the episode, and so I hope you'll see me here for the next episode, um, when I should hopefully have a better idea of what I'm doing. See you soon.